Hi everyone. So today I want to do a really quick video specifically for Pro 100 users. The video is going to consist of two parts. Uh, first part is when exactly to replace uh, ink tanks on Pro 100 and second part how to get free paper every time you buy new ink tanks. For example you have received a message on your computer that one of the tanks or maybe more have run out of ink and uh, usually that will indicate by cartridges blinking more often so but here's the thing so for example I'm gonna take this cartridge out and yeah you can see it's empty the main container is empty in here it looks empty but here is my determination whether this cartridge has to be replaced or not when I squeeze it like this on the sides nothing really shows up okay so this cartridge is definitely gone okay but now let's look at another one it's I think it's a PM that blinks rapidly I look at this guy okay so the tank is empty the sponge is like halfway dry but if I turn it like this okay and I squeeze it can you see this okay you can see the saturation of the ink this means that this cartridge is still workable. You can still do, I don't know, 10, 20, 30 uh, prints out of it. So I'm going to put this one back and then I'm going to just replace this one. Now the final and the very important advice I would give if you guys are printing in a way that I am, meaning using the cartridges to their final, final, final capacity. If you know that you have a cartridge like this guy, just don't send too many photos to the printer at once. Say right now I have a pretty big order to print. It's like probably about 50 photos. I'm going to send them in a batch of say 10 photographs. And after each 10 photographs printed, I'm going to take this cartridge out and reinspect it uh, with my squeeze method. Okay, so that's important because if you take it out, put it back in and you send 50 photos the way the software works or firmware works on this printer even if it's empty it will try to print the whole batch of photos and this is when you can get your print head damaged so uh, like I said just be careful and if you have a cartridge that's uh, almost 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 empty just print in small batches and you'll be super safe so I got my PC tank replaced but here's another uh, trick I want to show you guys your empty tank don't throw it out what I do is I I reuse the cap from the old one and I seal it with a tape and I store them in a storage along with my new tanks so here are my new ones and I have them labeled and I make sure I always have at least one of each and here I store the old ones the used ones and you might ask me well why in the world would you store them Vlad well here's the thing guys you can sell them Yes, you can sell empty tanks on eBay. Uh, set usually goes anywhere between twenty and twenty-five dollars. Shipping is about probably three to four dollars. I mean, it's a, not a lot of money, but if you already have a set up eBay account and you're selling something else, this might be extra income. Okay, so now the second part: How do you get free paper every time you buy ink for Canon Pro 100? You're gonna go to shop dot usa.canon.com that's official canon website for purchases in the united states and in the search window you're going to type cli-42 that's the ink model number for pro 100 and most of the time like literally almost every single day they have a deal when you buy 30 dollars of these cartridges you will get a free shipping and a free gift and most of the times the free gift will be a sampler uh, pack of paper which is uh, usually eight and a half by eleven so here we're gonna click on one of the tanks we're gonna click add to cart okay so now I went back and I'm adding another one so now I have two cartridges in my cart and if you click go to cart you're gonna notice that we already have three items in our cart. It's two cartridges and one sampler pack. The sampler pack comes with four smaller packs 
uh, of different paper, five sheets each. So I basically for last two or three years haven't bought a single sheet of uh, paper in the size of eight and a half by 11. I always get it for free. And say if you need four cartridges, well, make two separate purchases, two and two, and then you will get two sampler packs of paper. So I hope you enjoyed this video and let's have some printing going.